tiny bedroom getting you down, we feel you. That's why we have rounded up the 12 best small bedrooms idea that will maximize your space and bring a new life to your room. It may seem like your options are confined to squeezing in a bed and if you're lucky, a nightstand. But there are ways to pack plenty of style into your limited space. Also, don't overlook the benefits. Ready to impress your small bedroom? Continue watching the video for tips on how to maximize your small bedroom with design, decor, and layout inspiration. One, keep the layout simple. There isn't a magic trick to the layout of the small bedroom. There is usually an obvious main wall to put the bed. And I don't like to get the too clever as far as placement. Like floating the bed frame in the middle of the room or at an angle in the corner. The designer also suggests placing the bed in the center of the main wall rather than pushing one side up against the adjacent wall. Having room to walk on either side is key not only for to float, but also to give you space to make your bed, if you're interested in sort of thing. 2. Don't be afraid to go dark. You're not limited to whites or neutral color palettes when it comes to the walls of a small bedroom. I say embrace the size and moodiness of a small room and even play into it. Painting a room a crocodile gray or navy blue or olive green can be chic and sexy. 3. Put bring in plenty of light. Whether you go for a moody hue or stick to a crisp pale shade, adding a plenty of light sources is a key to keeping the room from feeling dark and claustrophobic. Decorative overhead lighting like a pendant or a chandelier instead of ceiling cans. Beside table lamps, a floor lamp and even reading sconces will add the ambience. 4. Choose accents that add color. I generally like cooler colors in bedroom. Blues and grays as obsued to warm tones. Black and white always works them and can be a good foundation like in patterned... I think everyone would be a little happier if they had some pops of color in their bedrooms. 5. Ditch the shrunken nightstands. A smaller space doesn't mean smaller furniture. One of my big bet is many future bedside tables, especially next to a larger bed frame and mattress. Tiny stands can look so dorky. It can actually make a small room look bigger and will be more useful and functional. 6. Create the illusion of space. Another one of our favorite small bedroom ideas is to create the illusion of space. Hanging drapery as close to the ceiling as possible is a design trick that actually works. It will bring the eye up. While we are at it, a good trick for picking a curtains is to match the fabric to the wall color. It's modern and clean and can be nice in a smaller space because your eye won't be distracted by contrasting colors. 7. Cut out clutter. All the square footage in the world won't make a difference if it's crowded with the stuff. Another trick that won't cost you any money 
is to keep your room clean. You can still accessorize like you would a large room, but keeping out the unnecessary clutter is a no-brainer. 8. It's possible to go big. Max advocates mixing it up when it comes to scale. I also like to use the largest area rug that will fit. A canopy bed can be a cool juxtaposition in a small room. It's unexpected and playing with scale, big bed, small room can be a fun way to stick it to this design process. 9. Bring the outdoors in. Don't forget to add some life to your space. There is no reason houseplants should be kept out of the bedroom. I, I have even used potted indoors trees in small rooms. Having something vertical like a fig tree can bring the eye up. Plants can make a stuffy room feel fresh too. 10. Give your bed a second job. Between the hours of midnight and 7 a.m., your mattress is for sleeping. The rest of the room arrange the pillows against the wall so it becomes a makeshift daybed for lounging and working on your laptop. If you happen to have some room, a small-scale coffee table makes this setup even more convincing. 11. Choose mounted lights instead of table lamps and floor lamps. Just say no to table lamps and floor lamps. We know this is turning into a Mario Kondo expedition. But those light fixtures are only going to take up the tiny bit of floor space you do have. And instead, choose a space savings cons to hang on the wall above your bed. Ideally one with a swinging arm that can be adjusted to direct light downward for reading or into the rest of the room for dance parties etc if you're partial to pendant lights one of those would work too 12 go for decor that does double duty pick pieces that can do double duty and makes room for essential pieces in my own small bedroom, I don't have room for a dresser, so I have large stand nights with the drawers that hold my clothes. And even if it's a tight fit, I always want at least a small chair in the corner. Denning size can work in a pinch or a bench at the end of the bed as a catch-all for clothes, pillows, or whatever Garments get flung around before bed. I know people think it's calm and minimalism is all the rage now, but I don't think I could sleep in an all white room. I generally like cooler colors in a bedroom, blues and grays as opposed to warm tones. Black and white always work some and can be a good foundation, like in patterned area rug, to layer in some color. I think everyone would be a little happier if they had some pops of color in their bedrooms. Tiny bedroom getting you down? We feel you. That's why we have rounded up the 12 best small bedrooms idea that will maximize your space and bring a new life to your room. It may seem like your options are confined to squeezing in a bed and if you're lucky, a nightstand. But there are ways to pack plenty of style into your limited space. Also, don't overlook the benefits. 
Ready to impress your small bedroom? Continue watching the video for tips on how to maximize your small bedroom with design, decor, and layout inspiration. One, keep the layout simple. There isn't a magic trick to the layout of the small bedroom. There is usually an obvious main wall to put the bed. And I don't like to get the too clever as far as placement. Like floating the bed frame in the middle of the room or at an angle in the corner. The designer also suggests placing the bed in the center of the main wall rather than pushing one side up against the adjacent wall. Having room to walk on either side is key not only for to float but also to give you space to make your bed if you're interested in sort of thing. 2. Don't be afraid to go dark. You're not limited to whites or neutral color palettes when it comes to the walls of a small bedroom. I say embrace the size and moodiness of a small room and even play into it. Painting a room a crocal gray or navy blue or olive green can be chic and sexy. 3. Put bring in plenty of light. Whether you go for a moody hue or stick to a crisp pale shade, adding a plenty of light sources is a key to keeping the room from feeling dark and claustrophobic. Decorative overhead lighting like a pendant or a chandelier instead of ceiling cans. Beside table lamps, a floor lamp and even reading sconces will add the ambience. 4. Choose accents that add color. I generally like cooler colors in bedrooms. 